first, uh, delighted to have you guys out here today to, to visit our facility. I think this is a wonderful opportunity. You may have other chances to be inside the building later on, but as you know, in a few months, it's going to be fast and furious, but it's a, a transformational project. The timing sometimes in life is, is great, and it was when Coach Muschamp got here, and I said to him early on, I said, you have an opportunity to get your fingerprints on this building if you should choose to do that. And he said, I would love to be involved. And he has been intimately involved with the construction of this project and getting it just like he wanted it. And it's, it's wonderful for us. And, you know, I think sometimes in college athletics, we get caught up in a world of we're just trying to keep up with the Joneses. It's really not the case here. We, we have a football project that we needed in a big way. Williams Bryce is great. The coach's office is at one end, weight rooms at the other end, training rooms on the side. It just didn't flow well. It wasn't it wasn't efficient and effective. And this building will with the indoor, Steve and Jerry Spurrier indoor, and now the Ken and Cindy Long operations building our practice fields here. This is one of the gonna be one of the finer facilities in, in all of college football. So we're excited about what we have going on here and we look forward to a number of ribbon cuttings and getting this getting this building uh, in full force. I hope that it slows down toward the end of the year, which means we'll, st we'll still be playing. We won't have time to do all the things we need to do. So let's hope that we're full throttle in January, you know, and we may get in before that. But we appreciate y'all being here and giving you an opportunity to go inside the building and, and check it out. Ray, what feature do you like most about it? I just like the fact that, you know, it, it's, it's football efficient. It's friendly. It's, we have, we have a, a few bells and whistles, but as Coach Muschamp said early on, this is a, a place of work and certainly going to be attractive recruits. That's part of it. You, you, you know, you have to have a facility that shows that you're committed to the game and the recruits and their families are going to be able to see that. What part do you feel is the most innovative? Well, innovative, I guess. You always go back to the weight room. How big and bold is your weight room? Um, right, Corey? You, you like that? You know, we got the cardio deck, and, you know, I keep trying to squeeze an office in there for me, and I might have to drop in here from time to time. I'm not sure I'm going to be successful there, but but I, I just think that it's just the layout of the building. It's functional. The players will be at one end. We'll have some opportunities, and it was well thought out with, with Kevin O'Connell and Derek and the architects, the engineers, and, again, Coach Muschamp's input into this building. He's a football coach. Nobody knows what, what needs to be in a facility more than the coach that's involved. So he's got his fingerprints all over this. So it's going to be an outstanding facility and an asset for our football program. When, when you think about what happens across college football, even here in the state with the football facilities that are being built, how important was it for you to get a facility of this nature? Well, I think it was extremely important. Again, you know, sometimes, you know, I've been in the college athletics for a long time and I, it bothers me sometimes when you think you're just you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, but we really needed a facility. We needed a football facility for efficiency and effectiveness. And you know, this satisfies what we need. It's across the street from the stadium. We can go in the stadium from time to time, but we got everything we hear we need here. It's one stop shop. So I, I think it's great. You know, it fits for what we need, you know, for our student athletes coming forward. How badly did you need this to uh, be competitive in the SEC especially? Well, you know, sometimes you never know the impact that's going to make, but it's going to be positive. You take out negativity in recruiting, whatever the aspect may be, you eliminate it. And and if we did have some, some negative aspects in, in recruiting with our facilities, we have eliminated those. It all comes back to people, but it does take out, you know, the resource negativity that's involved. And, you know, this is going to be one of the best in the country. Where's the water slide? Going? Yeah. You more uh, in the back near the river. You more likely to use, you more likely to use the sound studio or the barber shop or the the pool. Which one? Well, you know what? I, I don't know. But if if I f can find a guy with a good haircut, they're starting to get very expensive. So <laughs> you know, I I might be in the barber chair. Does Will remind you a lot of yourself when you were trying to get the baseball stadium? You know, I I tell you, you know, when like I said a, a few minutes ago when he first got here and we realized this project was moving forward. I said to him, you, you have an opportunity if you have the time and you want to be intimately involved, it's here. You know, it's right in front of you. And he says, I really would like to do that. And he was involved from day one. And he came to a lot of meetings and spent time investing in this project and to get it just the way that, that he wanted it. And I um, I was going back to baseball years ago. I was, I was thrilled to the moon. And um, you know, he, he, he invested his time to get this building efficient.
for what he needs for football. And yeah, we got a few bells and whistles, but you know, it's a place that his players will enjoy coming to every day and it, it shows commitment, it shows dedication.